Rotator cuff related shoulder pain is a broad term to describe a load intolerant shoulder, not due to a specific other pathology such as instability, OA, a frozen shoulder, etc. Keep on watching if you want to see a case broken down. Enroll in our online course now. Link is in the video description. When watching this video, we assume you have watched our synopsis video on rotator cuff related shoulder pain, where I go over the pathology in general, including the diagnosis. We also would like to stress that these are merely ideas and management will differ from case to case and therapist to therapist. For the sake of this video, let's assume we have a 40 year old woman that is complaining of shoulder pain for a couple of weeks with tasks such as putting groceries in the upper cabin and trying to grab a parking ticket for the parking lot out of the car window. And at last picking up her nephew of eight kilograms. Now exactly how irritable is the shoulder? You can derive this from our table out of one of our courses with Professor Philip Streif on shoulder rehabilitation. In our case, night pain is present and unloaded elevation in nearly full range of motion, but not abduction, is possible. When loading the shoulder by the aforementioned activities, pain often worsens until the next day. So that's pretty irritable, so let's keep it simple in the first phase. Try to have a maximum of two to three exercises per phase as recommended by the recent consensus statement. Make sure the patient understands that moving the arm is not inherently dangerous and that pain does not equal damage. She can surely lift her arm as a first exercise. We can try some unloaded movements such as pendulum swings, table slides, or supported external rotation if pain allows. If supported external rotation is painful, we can try to decrease the range of motion or place the elbow more to the front, which often alleviates some pain. The goal here is to maintain mobility and introduce the shoulder to load. A bit more pain during and after exercise is alright, but when pain exceeds a comfortable level for the patient, the exercises are regressed. These movements can be performed multiple times a day if pain allows since we are not working against muscular failure. Now, one of the painful activities is grabbing a parking ticket and we need abduction for that. We can try some modified movements in the frontal plane to gradually expose the shoulder to this abduction movement. Since elevation is possible and abduction not, we can try to progress the elevation movement out to the side until we reach the scapular and frontal plane. If the movement is too painful, we can try to change the hand position, incorporate the kinetic chain and or maybe add some resisted lateral rotation to expose the body to a movement without too much discomfort. Note that some of these symptom modification procedures will not work for every patient. If full range of motion is not possible without flare-ups, you can start loading a part of the comfortable range and broaden the range as you go. Two other painful activities were putting groceries in the cabins and picking up our nephew of 8 kilograms. We might combine these movements for time purposes for the patient. Picking up weights from the floor, starting in a squat position and moving them to an overhead press. We start light with lots of momentum and keeping the load close to the body and can progress by slowing down the movement, picking up a heavier weight or distancing the load from the body. As you can see, there are lots of variables to play with and one is not necessarily better than the other. How would you go on about it? If you want to learn more about shoulder rehabilitation, check out our course with Professor Philip Streif. The link is in the video description. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe and maybe drop a comment down below. I'm Max for Physio Tutors and I will see you in another video. Bye.